We are outside today, folks, and the siren is a still an enjoyable one. Welcome, welcome to the sunny day right here in sunny California. Number one, WBA Walter with Alexander's best butin. You know, he won his little uh, tune of his stay busy fight. He won that. Now, it's against, what was it? Blanco? Blanco? Training in the laboratory, obviously, you see he has the. He, if, if all the. If you want to compare all the Eastern Bloc fighters, he's probably the most comparable to. Um, Lomachenko. I guess you could, besides Usyk, of course, but. You know. Uh, but you want to go into 10 rounds with this guy. Was it the awkwardness? Or. Not, the power wasn't there to finish Blanco. Blanco. Being, a, being the IBF USBA champion, where is he at on IBF? Number five. So Earl Spence going to have a nice little competition coming up here. You With Cartrillo at number one, number two is open. So you figure somehow quietly, I don't know how, Andre Berto sneaked can snuck in at number three. Then you got number four, Rashidi Ellis. God, it was just announced he's fighting someone on someone uh, on the undercard. Who is Rashidi Ellis fighting? Well, anyway, and then you got number five, Alexander Bestbute. So, Bestbute and Berto for that number two spot. Who else is going to take? David Anavesian and Best Butin for that number two spot. That's possible. I can see David working with top rank, working with the IBF. You know, you, you got Sergey Lipinitz and Best Butin. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Like I said, it's it's fights out there. It's the where those two Eastern Bloc fools fight each other. That's the thing. You got a lot of. You know, nationalities, races, not fighting each other. Canelo straight out saying, "Hey, I don't want to fight no Mexicans." You see the you see these Eastern blocks at 175 not fighting each other. You see Igis and um, Best Butin. They're not they're not even mentioned about fighting each other. Are they stable mates? Yeah, but you know they're not even mentioned about even fighting. It's, it's and so will Lipinitz fight Best Butin? That'd be a good ass fight. Best Butin is number one by the WBA. Like his foot movement and punch combination. Like I said, he fights like he fights the best considered comparison to Lomachenko out of all these Eastern Bloc guys. He moves in and out. He throws the. He definitely need. He doesn't jab like Lomachenko though. I, I should say out of the foot movement. His is definitely the closest. He doesn't fight like Lomachenko. His foot movement, getting angles, you know, him and Usyk. I can say his foot movement is closer to Usyk than, you know, not Lomachenko. He's close to Usyk. Because Usyk fights like Lomachenko. Jab, angles, punches. Best Butin just does the footwork. He definitely needs behind a more jab, you know, because he does good. He was doing good just touching him, just touching him. But then you wonder, like I said, was the power not there? Could he not finish Blanco? But, you know, considering he's number one for the WBA, he could take Vargas. I think he could take Jamal James. Number four, you got Kavalaskis. You got Igis there. Then you got number five, Razdad Zabit. Razdad Betuv. I don't know him. But number six, seven, Ben and Kelly. Eight, Broner. Nine, Samuel Vargas. You know, down there, I don't know. IBF, I say he's number five. Kusto, Clayton, Anavasian, Kavalaskis. He's up here, folks. He is up here. But strangely enough, strangely enough, him being a top ranked fighter, he is nowhere ranked in the WBO. That is so odd, considering that Bob Arum always has seemingly fighters ranked in the WBO. But strangely, he's number one in the WBA. Nowhere in the WBO. 
kind of crazy, kind of crazy. Maybe trying to get that purse bid, you know, I'll let best, best Butin could be a purse bid for ESPN. You know, Keith Thurman, number one is Best Butin. Eventually, he's going to become a mandatory, eventually, if he keeps winning. You know, who's going to skip him? Jesse Vargas, Jamal James, number four, Egas, another top-ranked guy, so... Somehow he got that number one spot, and he's gonna be. It's gonna become a first bid fight. Either they're gonna have to, or they're gonna have to do what uh, ESPN did with Corolla tonight. They're gonna have to overpay uh, Keith Thurman, but the, the Keith Thurman side is gonna have to overpay best the fight to bring Best Butin on to Fox or Showtime. Wherever they want it, that's definitely not gonna be a no damn pay per view fight. But that you know, they, they're gonna have yeah, just like I said, ESPN overpaid Corolla, Fox is gonna have to overpay Best Butin. But like I said, Best Butin looked good. Where is like I said, the only thing you really gotta worry about it is was it the awkwardness of Blanco Blanco moving? Because <coughs> even though he was tagging Best Butin with some good ass shots. I'm gonna credit those to some crazy ass awkward move in that. You know, it was just kinda hard to block all those crazy shots. You know. But the power. The power not being able to finish him. Cause I think, you know, comparing this style, I I, I don't think it has anything to do with the motor or energy and not being tired. Because Usyk eventually will finish you. Lomachenko will eventually finish you. Best Butin was breaking him down, but I didn't see the killer finish. That's the only thing I got to, you know. Other than that, pretty damn good performance by Best Butin. I think he will be a, uh, he could be a problem. A lot of people might overlook because he's got a ranking out of nowhere, but the, the talent is there. He's like a, a, uh, a fancier Lipinitz, <laughs> you know, that that will be a good fight stuff, because Lipinitz shows the power, decent foot movement, but Butin shows the f foot movement with the combination, it'll be a good fight, but will the Eastern Bloc guys fight each other, it's a good question, I don't know, the Double RT Boxing Show, thank you for tuning in.